said today we are going to discussing order to cash it's called as a o2c process order to cash process order to cash it's called as a o2c process so o2c process mean so when comes into the picture when it is coming into the picture in the uh, real business scenario see suppose now our company is going to manufacturing the products now product is ready okay when they are going to manufacturing the products at the time if they need any material to manufacture the product suppose if it is any product if you want to manufacture so all parts are not available in, in the company right see p of the parts we have to buy it from the suppliers so at the time when company need the material at the time procure to pay cycle will come okay when company is going to buying the material from the outside so at the time procure to pay cycle will come now <coughs> once the the product is ready now they want to sell that product sell that product means they have uh, too many options so once they are doing the marketing once marketing is reached to the people now people going to place the order here it is people are a company anything is fine now see suppose if you take it and uh, manufacturing related you can take suppose any car manufacturing now that car manufacturing company so the main engines and few of the parts they are going to manufactured okay other parts they need to buy it from the supplier <laughs> like tires glasses and uh, any doors or seats these all the things they have to buy it from the outside uh, different different suppliers okay now suppose uh, tires are going to supplying the seat tires seat seat also it's again a big company okay now car manufacturing suppose take it as a honda cars honda cars is a one company they are going to buying the products uh, purchasing the material tires uh, seats and glasses and um, windows different different things are going to buying from different different suppliers at the time we can call it as a procure to purchase, purchase procure to pay purchasing we are going to happening now car is ready now we need to sell this product so at that time what will happen order to cash so we are going to getting the orders from the customers so it's clear right business when it is required and how but um, then um, is it uh, right that uh, i mean uh, there is financials and hrm and everything but uh, could a company um, do only p2p and order to cash and uh, that would be all no 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 it will comes other things also okay the one one just i am going to talking about only order to cash flow when comes into the picture how it is going to happening this we are discussing that now it will come it will come when hrms will come when uh, other things uh, drop shipments will come when back to back order will come it will come one by one one by one okay yeah. okay okay but what i wanted to know is that um, for a implementation uh, can there be like only p2p or only order to cash implementation no 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 no, no. other things also it, it yeah. will be everything everything will come okay okay right now in the order to cash what will going to happen first enter the order so enter the order so here two things it is going to happening here who is the first one is here it is going to customer place the order now customer customer you can take it as suppose at&t or uh, ac networks anything some name ac networks okay customer is ac network okay now customer will going to who is going to sending the material now seller seller you can take it as a different person who is going to selling the product seller 
is a seller now here you can uh, place it as a seller is suppose uh, amazon something amazon okay now seller is amazon so what will happen customer place the order now here it is going to enter the order enter the sales order so here it is enter the sales order means you need to decide it who is the customer what is the ship to location bill to location and order type add, uh, and who is the sales person okay and coming to the order lines level what is the item they are going to rising okay item price what is the price and how much quantity they are going to requesting what is the shipment date okay shipping details and all the things we can see here enter the details okay coming after that once you enter the, all the details then next level going to book the order book the order once book the order order is going to book do. book the order once it is booked the order what will happen order is going to sending to the next it is uh, status is changed the statuses are very very important here enter the order at the time line level and uh, header level both it is going to uh, entered entered status coming to book the order once what will happen the data is moving into the shipping level shipping level it is going to awaiting shipping awaiting shipping it is going to happen in the book the order once you book the order data is moved into the shipping level next you have to do the pick release from pick release from the inventory yes order is booked this order is went to the inventory level shipping level in the shipping level they are going to checking in the warehouse so they will going to release the material from inventory to staging area inventory to staging area so inventory to staging area means see the inventory one staging area where the material is going to keeping before going to packing okay the people will not going to do the packing inside of the inventory what they will do they are going to looking all the orders the order by order they are going to releasing the material from the warehouse from to uh, staging area staging area level what they will do they are going to divide the material and they will cross check all the materials and they are keeping in the staging area after that they are going to here it is release pick release pick release once so they are going to packing is done packing is done after that once pick release they are going to pick confirm once it is packed we can call it as a pick confirm once packing is done and the packing is done and after that we uh, packing is done and moving into transect transect means uh, it is for transportation material pick to confirm it is going to happen <coughs> excuse me right once it is pick release happened after that what they will do they are going to packing they will do they entered the labels and they will going to scan that barcodes and then once it is packed uh, packed everything so we can call it as a pick confirm pick confirm and that material they moved into the transect through the transportation in transect we can call it as that is through the air or through the ship or through the road uh, through the vehicle how they are going to shipping they will going to start it once uh, that packing is done and then the once material is reached to the customer we can call it as a ship confirm once the material is going to uh, reach it to the customer at that time we can call it as a ship confirm so here we can see it is a ship confirm ship confirm 
it is a ship confirm means the material is reached to customer okay ship confirm right now material is reached to the customer right next what we need to do we need to receive the payment from the customer right so material we shipped so after that what we have to do we need to receive the material uh, we need to receive the payment from the customer so we will going to run the workflow background process automatically s4 yes, well, line is going to closed so the workflow will going to close the line line is going to close once invoice is generated before itself line is going to s4 yes, well, line closed okay keep on mind line closed closed okay now uh, so line is closed and then automatically ar invoice will going to generate it through the workflow background process it is going to happening that is okay now next is ar invoice will come now invoice invoice is generated ar invoice how it is generated based on the om data it is going to generate the ar invoice will going to generate it there it is ar invoice will generate after that ar invoice based on the ar invoice we can uh, customer made the payment to the seller now uh, payment is done once payment done then receipt we uh, now we are going to generate the receipt to the customer now receive the payment from the customer based on the invoice we will going to receive the payment from the receive the payment from customer customer okay right this is going to happening once this is done next level what will happen next it is going to we are against this invoice we are going to raise the receipt so receipt will going to giving to the customer so he made the payment so this this is the amount this is the item this is the quantity and these all the details we will going to enter and we are going to generate the receipt receipt we are generating that this receipt is going to giving uh, giving to the custom uh, customer so the finally we will going to transfer to gl this is going to happening transfer to gl on second sorry yes now transfer to gl this is the process so i hope already we people are going to see in this procure to pay it looks like same way but it's a different process transfer to gl transfer to gl is there any questions on this flow level only theoretical uh, just uh, flow we are going to give how many steps it is going to happen here okay what about yeah, uh, ashish is clear yeah i'm good yeah okay no right right so here few of the questions is it possible to place the order without customer no perfectly no okay yeah uh, is it possible to place the order without the seller no. no 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 right okay now if this events uh, whenever we are going to place the order what are the mandatory what is the customer type this is all the information we have to check before itself okay so this is the way it is going to happening the complete flow it is going to running let me will going to discuss the step by step now okay this is order to cash okay right right 
now the word to see what are the steps we are going to process order to cash flow you can call it as a o2c process o2c process so here we can set up the item also but okay let me we'll take some already existed item but we'll teach you after that what are the items how to set up and all okay right now first we are going to enter the sales order sales order okay sales order and then book the sales order okay and then pick release pick release the order okay and the pick confirm pick confirm and then ship confirm okay and then run the workflow background process run the workflow background process process okay once you run the workflow background process after that automatically you can see here line is going to closed you can see line is closed line is closed and ar ar interface programs running programs master programs are running running okay so find the invoice find the invoice based on yes so sales order okay once invoice is done after that we can make the payment also happen and create the receipt create the receipt create the receipt and then transfer to gl these are the steps uh, we need to perform transfer to gl so these are the steps so we need to perform uh, let me start the process is it clear shall i start the application level process yeah okay fine right now go to connect the application right go to order management now go to order management orders okay and then sales orders see these flows are very very important even if you are doing the reports or interfaces or conversions or forms or if it is any changes we are doing in the application level so at the time you can see this how this so this is the <coughs> form now how do you know which version we are going to using suppose someone is asking which version we are using the oracle application how do you know go to about application help about application you can see the version application version is what release 12.1.3 this is okay 
this is now select your customer at uh, so ac networks right okay anyhow so ac networks i'm selecting the already existed uh, customer so once you selected the customer automatically customer ship to location bill to location okay the price list what it is attached to the customer and um, what type of this order who is the sales person of this order and when that order order date this is all the information you can see here okay clear so next if you go into the others tab you can see here the payment terms how to pay the pay payment to net we have to transfer payment we will going to receive the customer is paying that through net okay which warehouse we are picking the material we are picking the material warehouse is m1 okay and our shipping method is dhl we are going to shipping the material through the dhl freight terms is prepay or add so this is the information we can see in the header level so still order number is not generated here once you save the order then we can see the order number and then if you go lines lines item once you click on lines automatically header will save number will going to generate it automatically see as a technical person what you have to know means here where this order information is going to store where ship to location information is going to store where bill to location is stored where the price lists are stored back end tables are very very important so right now you can select the your item so xx itc this item already i configured okay will show you that items after that o to c item 0010 i selected okay now you can see the top level 1041 that is called as a order number i am requesting 10 quantity right now 10 quantity you are requesting so you can see here still this is the line type line type and the order type both are through the workflows it is going to coming uh, workflow it is going to handling that those two things but keep on mind we'll uh, we're going to see whenever we are going to discussing that uh, types now shipping level the source type is internal why it is internal any idea because we are going we are picking the material in our inventory understood we are picking the material from our inventory and we are sending to the customer we means here it is seller okay we means uh, here it is seller seller is picking the material in our in our in inventory warehouse level only suppose the stock is not available what is the item i selected xx itc o to c item the quantity it is not available in the inventory what will happen back order uh, back order either drop ship order it is going to happen okay so the at the time what is the source if it is a drop ship automatically it is external understood it's external external means we are buying from the outside suppliers okay so it should be internal now now you can see some shipping information also you can see here how much quantity which warehouse we are going to picking now if it is a back order here it is coming the receiving org also 
we are receiving to which uh, organization okay keep in mind that is now promise date request date the dates are very very important when that material we are going to receiving okay right let me now let me save the order One zero four one. Now, already I, I teach how to find the table name. O E R D R. Order sal. Where order number? <coughs> one zero four one. One zero four one. Order status is what? entered line status is what the statuses are very very important okay now go to main and then you can see status entered clear i hope you both are clear this entered status in the now the same status how would you how would you find this is in the back end back end is very very important oi order header sal okay right header sal this is going to header information it's not a headers order oi order header sal this is the order information header id is the join condition between the lines oi order line sal line sal okay where header id this is the line information so now you can see the flow status code flow status code means the status of the header entered what is this It's a entered. Uh, what is the line status? Line also you can see the flow status code only. Flow status code. Right. It's both are in entered status. This step also entered only. Enter the sales order. is it any shipping data is going to happen shipping uh, tables it is affected no because still we are not booked give me a second entered entered as so okay now enter the this is also entered and line also entered status is there any shipping information is going to happen we can see wsh delivery delivery details now delivery details so what you have source header id you have source header id is nothing but a header id order header id only so you can see is there any information is affected or not source header id source header id see nothing no data so as of now only it is affected headers and lines only now i am going to booking my order okay book the order now your order has been booked see it is booked what is the line status awaiting shipping awaiting shipping so now book the order 
book the as well as so means it's a sales order now you can see Uh, now I am running this header. What happened? It is in booked status. What is the line status now? Awaiting shipping. Okay, it is awaiting shipping. Now, what else? Uh, other tables it is affected. You can see this. right now delivery delivery uh, now shipping information also coming here you can see shipping information here released status released status you can see so we can call it as a released status see now this is the released status so you can see release status is ready to release R release to warehouse different different statuses will come R ready to release clear ready to release R stands for ready to release okay now a dot star you can see here some other details also okay delivery detail id is there some one more table it is going to affect delivery assignments double sh double sh means it's shipping tables okay oe means order entry tables oe order headers all oe order lines all okay those are order entry tables double sh means delivery tables shipping tables double delivery assignments assignments okay what you know here you know the delivery detail id in the above table you can see that information you can see here delivery detail id now i will ask one question if you both people are going to helping really happy let me delivery delivery detail id detail id cut this okay so still delivery id is not generated means delivery is not happened okay now i will ask one question how would i can find this uh, customer information where the customer is going to store you can check the record history group. yeah i went record history yes and the record history it is showing our we order headers view mm -hmm. right mm. then okay. you can copy it uh, copied uh, and then uh, we will also see the examine record okay i'm and to uh, diagnostic examine examine mm. yeah it's a sold to yeah so we'll copy this right. and search for it in view code okay search for the view code right okay i went to source code script okay. right what next we need to search for sold to right sold to uh, it's coming sold to yeah. in the below of terms and above of ship from yeah and now we'll look have to look from the select query okay yeah 
I I see this party name, party dot party yeah. name. From the uh, here you can see the table name, but party dot party means party dot party name. So where I can see party? From class. No. Okay, I went to from class. Hmm. Ship to party, party. One second. Uh, HZ parties. Yeah. Okay. From HZ parties, what I I need to take? Ship to. No, no. It's party name. Oh yeah, sorry. The party oh. name is. Right. Uh, uh. So, if you ran this, so party name is yeah, first one name. So yeah. how they are joined with the Y order table? We can check in the code. Right. Where clause? Hmm. Right. Party dot. Uh, sales order. What is the sales order table here? Y order. H. Yeah. H table. You can see that H dot any. Yeah. Why H dot it is there anything? No, it's not there. It's it should be there. Okay, maybe that is in different. Uh, see, suppose three join. If it is direct join is not there, some other table join will going to coming. Yeah. Understood, right? Yeah. Admini, are you clear this? How we are finding the customer in the back end? Yeah, we are uh, looking in the um, joining table and uh, looking for the. Okay, can you help uh, me team. how to find uh, this is ship to location? I would. Uh, uh, okay, let me. Otherwise, otherwise, record. otherwise, go to this pricing. Okay, price list. I want okay. to see price list or order type. Okay, give me order type. So order type. I would uh, first uh, in. A, I mean, check that and then go in uh, record Help order history. Help diagnostics examine. Okay. What is yeah. that order type? Okay. So mm -hmm. copy this order type. And go to source code. Okay, the view. And then the go view? in the table and uh, go in the uh, from. I mean, uh, look for the first field name in the right order. Select type. clause. Order type is coming then, under uh, order source. Okay. And then look for it in the from clause. Can you and tell look, me uh, what is the what is dot name? Um. See, I found this. It's coming. Order mm -hmm. type is coming here. So now, how I can find the table name? Oh, the table name in the from clause, uh, the joining table name. Uh, how uh, this, so this many table. tables are there? How I know the, my table only? Oh, is that uh, I cannot see very well because I'm on the mobile. It's O1 oh, name. What? O T yeah. O T O T O T. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that what, what, so what that, is the alias of the table? Now you can find that them. is the alias. Yeah. What's all that decode uh, in the, the code? That is a different case. Okay, decode okay. we're going to see. Now OT. OT means what is this table here? You can see now. OT table is. And then uh, um, see look now. for that table name. 
and See. look for where it is joining right so what is the OE transaction type TL? okay this is the table. Yeah. so all order types it should coming under this table I hope you both people are going to understand how to find the table names so if it is uh, in future if you are going to doing some reports and all at that time easily you can find like this way and you can able to pick the columns and you can able to join it see now name is nothing but a order type so like this it is going to happen now this is now this uh, coming to the flow again so delivery this is going to we are going to see here type is going to yes it's uh, in warehouse now you can go and uh, pick release going to happen pick release and pick confirm both we are going to doing in the same time now go to shipping here it is shipping and then going to release sales orders release sales orders srs not srs you can directly release it into sorry release sales orders so here it is unreleased orders yes your order number you can enter and then you can see here shipping information inventory information so order rule also you can apply if it is any standard rule you can apply standard rule also now i'm going to releasing my order so it is unreleased my order number my customer number so i'm going to releasing this order execute now once you click on execute now it's automatically submitted some concurrent programs okay give me a second it's good now pick release online has completed successfully now go to view request find request you can see some program is submitted pick re, pick slip report shipping exception report means this pick slip report means what are the material we are picking from the inventory so those all the details it will come here Ship, uh, shipping exception report means when we are packing doing that time all the information it is going to store that reports only you can see now r2 it is going to change why now why means so after pick release pick release so why means it's released to warehouse okay In the same table you can now delivery also created okay so now it is why why means release it to warehouse means released released from warehouse before is uh, r stands for released to warehouse y stands for released to warehouse released to warehouse okay release it to warehouse and you can see that delivery also created and now again once that program also completed again it will change why only let me completed okay now you can see the pick slip report level those all the information see this is the report uh, so where that customer address uh, move order number this move order number is very very important this move based on the move order number only we can see where that material is there okay now see now picking the material from stores 
now the material is stored in staging area staging one pick to sub inventory pick from sub inventory pick to sub inventory try to understand here picking the material in store okay picking from the store and to store storing in staging area okay here only some tables got affected mtl tx and request headers mtl tx and request lines mtl txn request headers headers mtl txn request lines mtl txn request lines request lines okay sir uh, here what is the join we can able to do it here you can see the request number you can see right the request number is nothing but a move order number where request number request number equal to okay the move order number so let me try to put in a request id or request number is uh, the delivery id also there right you can join with that right see here wherever the you are seen in the request uh, here it is move order number is nothing but a yeah? request number in mtl tx and request headers here header id you have so in this uh, table you can see where that information staging uh, level it is stored right where header id so you can see here this is the line information see two sub inventories staging sir i want to see in the back end also in the front end also are you able to see front end yes you can see front end also the move order information just control l move orders move orders move orders m1 under m1 shuttle manufacturing okay so you can query your number move order number it's not move order number here you have to delivery id something you have to let me try this is should be going to move order number only yes it's a move order number only see now this is the item transaction sales order pick you can go to the source you can see it is the destination staging sub inventory to staging all you can see here okay this is the information it is going to store now if you can see mtl material transactions mtl material transactions you can see the material uh, here also you can see this um, material transactions in this table you can see the material is going to picked from the uh, inventory and stored into sub inventory also you can see so here you can uh, join with the uh, transaction id it is going to join uh, let me don't know my cursor position is not moving so here you can join with inventory item id also this inventory item id how do you know the inventory item id based on what is the item you selected you can see that item also okay right let me you can join with the item you can easily you can find it what is the item you selected also you can see that item see this is our item so based on this item so you can find it select star from mtl mtl system mtl system items underscore b items underscore b table this is a base table where segment one item segment one equal to we can join with this 
right so you can see the inventory item id here so you can join with here inventory item id so where inventory item id equal to this inventory item id equal to this see here it is so many records are coming here uh, you can find um, order by creation date creation date ds descending so today date 25th of may two records are coming why two records are coming one is you can see here this side see we are picking the material from store and storing into staging are you both are clear now yes yeah okay now if you are going to releasing the packing and shipping to done shipping is done one more record will going to create it here it is shipped okay this is the information here pick release and confirm both are happened and confirm also happened confirm how it is why why is released to warehouse confirm okay both are happened next what we need to do next we need to do the pick release pick release uh, sorry ship confirm ship confirm ship confirm so now you can go and uh, do the ship confirm uh, now go to transactions uh, now see shipping here it is shipping previously what we are doing release sales are done. now transaction now what is our order number you can join with the order number so 1041 you can join uh, you can going to from order number is from order to order number it is not shipped so we are going to shipping the material so here you can see that material the item delivery number what is uh, uh, current status pick confirm is happened current status what is the next status next status is ship confirm and close okay now here we can see the delivery information okay and uh, path by stop and path by trip also there when you are going to shipping at that time you can see so many things here so many programs are submitted a commercial invoice let me submit and then we can see the more programs here we can see set to delivery and transact close the trip and create a bill of lading these all programs is going to submit it click on ok see delivery was successfully confirmed okay and then now you can go and see so many programs are submitted what is the order line status see how many programs are submitted here so here we can see bill of lading bill of lading means so uh, what are the materials it is inside okay what are the materials are uh, bill, uh, materials how the materials are stored inside of the container bill of lading report will going to happen pick slip packing slip report how how we are doing the packing and what is the weight of the material what is the size of the material length width and weight everything we will going to see commercial invoice commercial invoice is the this is before entering into the inventory whose inventory customer inventory at that time we have to show it this commercial invoice then only customer inventory people will allow to enter inside of the the material is allowed to inside of the inventory vehicle load sheet details 
vehicle load sheet details means while uh, doing during the transportation if any government people or any security people will going to stop the vehicle they will show it into the vehicle load sheet details what are the materials are loaded into the inside of the vehicle okay interface trip stop interface trip stop program is going to it is picking the material from the inventory and moving into order management shipping this is the interface trip stop program is going to it is going to picking the data from the inventory tables and moving into shipping tables this is going to doing so these are the programs all are completed so now you can go and see the back end uh, changes okay now one second now line status first line status is going to change what is the line status line status is previously what is awaiting shipping okay previously it is awaiting shipping now it is going to ship do understood shhip ship do line status is ship do now you can see uh delivery status release status previously it is y now it is c c means completed means the delivery is completed the statuses are very very important okay keep on mind it is c c means closed okay and what else we can check this all will be there okay uh, these the two statuses is only you can see now this is done now the shipment is done so what next we can see now next what we have to do as for our flow steps so enter the sales order done book the order done pick release done pick confirm done ship confirm done okay run the workflow background process let me go and run now what is the line uh, status the line status is shipped now after running the workflow background process run the workflow background process workflow background process uh so once you are running the workflow background process the line status is going to changed let me run that workflow background process submit new request workflow workflow background process so here it is item type you can take it as o e order line sorry so the item type you can select is order entry line no 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 if you are not selected also fine but uh, o e one second no? om order line entry okay uh, you can see om order line so what will happen only it is picking the order level information only okay so it is yes and it is, should be going to no and you can submit the workflow now so it is picking all the orders if it is anything is pending it will pick all and it is going to sending the invoice also will going to create it automatically see now order is closed even if you submitted immediately order is closed okay now automatically invoice also created invoice also created 
See now, ADS auto invoice master program is submitted. So all it is going to picking auto invoice import program is going to picking this uh, this interface program what it is doing it is picking the om data and moving into er uh, invoice interface tables area customer tr excel those tables it is going to affected area customer tr excel tables it is going to affected this is the table it is going to affect it. Mm, if you want interface tables, you can take that interface tables also. Mm, all objects. You can try. So where condition you can write it as a interface. Object name. object name like it's a customer interface right aria percent uh, first percent interface interface So these all are going to complete it normal. You can it's so uh, multiple programs are submitted because uh, some in my some orders are pending in previously some other orders. Somebody is going to create the order, but uh, still invoice is not generated. All will going to pick this workflow. What are the it is previously struck all the sales orders it is picking and it will going to create the year invoices. Okay, now area customers uh, interface area customers interface all in this table you can uh, see the interface data and once it is completed the data also it is going to delete it now see there is no data because it's deleted the background program is completed it's for the information okay Area cash profiles payments and that is the table only. Okay, area customer center face. One more. Okay. It's not it's not customer center face. Let me try. No, it's already deleted in this table because the backend program is completed normal the data is going to fudge okay now you can see the ar invoice also created now the backend how did you find the now invoice is created but how would you find the invoice where interface line attribute interface line attribute attribute uh, see here some attributes are there interface line attribute one two six you can see this interface line attributes okay interface uh, okay sorry you have to check in the area customer trx line salt table area I am going to stopping. Okay, only two minutes. Are a customer. Are a customer TRX line sol. Line sol. So here you can find the interface line attribute. Uh, two, three, six. Interface line attribute. See now one, two all are there okay now what is order number you can enter the sales order number here to one equal to what is your sales order number you both are following right yeah yeah okay one zero four one 
yeah yeah one zero four one one zero four one one zero four one right you can see two lines right so this is your uh, order customer trx id you can copy there and then uh, here you can the uh, area customer trx level you can join with uh, customer trx id customer trx id you can join with this table right your order is this is one double zero three eight two six two okay now otherwise you can go into the front end also you can find now you can close here now you can close this and go to sales order form go to orders and returns you can go to sales orders and then you can query your sales order query your sales order and then you can uh, Once you query your sales order, then you can go into lines. Uh, go to lines, line item, and then click on action, additional line information. The additional line information, you can see your, uh, sorry, okay. Uh, lines, and then additional line information. So here we can see the invoices. The invoice is C one double zero three eight. Is it clear? You can see the invoice also here. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Ashish, right. So to on tomorrow session, we will see the how to create a receipt and how to transfer to GL. So those things we will going to see.